Once we realize that Epiphany is far more than some strange visitation of curious characters coming from the Near East, once we realize that, we also come to understand that Epiphany, the core of the Feast of Epiphany, is the manifestation of God's love for each one of us. And that manifestation is not just a phrase or a sentence or a teaching. That manifestation has a name, bears a name, and that name is the holy name of Jesus. Jesus is the manifestation of God's love for us. And that's the explanation of the distribution of the Gospels for these days. I mean, days after the Epiphany. Yesterday we had the Great Feast. Today we have some texts from the Gospel according to Matthew chapter 4. What's the relationship? Well, the relationship is that what we see in Jesus in today's Gospel is the spreading of the good news. He's really spreading goodness, spreading health, curing every disease, debunking so many mistakes, amending so many errors, changing so many lives, casting away so many devils. That's what the Lord is doing. So when we see Jesus transforming lives and bringing the gospel, we come to understand He is the manifestation of God's love. He's truly God among us. And when we come to that realization, we also understand that in receiving Jesus, we are receiving everything that God could bring to our lives. So he's the pinnacle, he's the maximum gift we could receive. That's the aim of this week's Gospels, that we understand that in receiving Jesus we are receiving everything that is good, everything that could possibly be given by God to each one of us. Second point. Now, What's his way of manifesting God's love and power and wisdom? Essentially, we are told he is inviting to repentance. He's teaching the people the ways of God. He's curing every disease and he's expelling, casting away the devils. So that's the, that's the example that's we could say the sample of what God is bringing to our lives and that's what we need we need repentance we need guidance we need healing we need wisdom we need pardon and we need to be protected from the evil one everything Everything that could be good for us has been brought by Jesus. And everything that could harm us or destroy God's work in us has been expelled and overcome by Jesus. Be the glory and the power to Him now and forever. Amen.